In this video I want to show you how you can set up the event manager spreadsheet. So if I open a copy of the spreadsheet you'll see a little notification comes up in the bottom corner just telling me I need to do a setup. Uh, for the first time there are a couple of things you need to do before you hit the setup button. Um, so we need to create a calendar. This is where um, events will be pushed through to. We're going to make this public as well. So I'm going to create the calendar, remembering the name. Um, there's also an option to push events through to Google Sites. To do, If you want to do this, you need to create a page for it. And take a copy of this URL. Um, so if we go back through to here, the last thing is to set up a, a trigger so that when new bookings come in, an email is sent to the admin. So go into tools, scripts, triggers. Um, we need to add a trigger for this script. And the one we want to do is on form submit. So we just add that. Um, you'll then be prompted for authorization. This is basically so it can write to the various parts of the Google app, so the sites and the calendar. Um, you only need to that authorization once. So we can now click on setup and give the calendar name we just created and the URL of the site and also an email address for admin to receive notification of those bookings. So it's now complete. Those pieces of information are actually stored in a template so you can adjust those. And there's also your templates used for joining instructions and so on. I'll let you play with those. So we have a, a sheet dedicated for events. So you can put your events in here as and when you like. Um, basic information, event title, um, the ID. Um, has to be unique. Uh, I would keep it memorable as well, just to make life easy. You don't want to watch me type lots of pieces, so um, the description can include HTML if you want, and you've got the start and end dates. Location, we can push location through to Google Maps as well. So I've just used a postcode in here. You'll see each of these boxes that require information have a, a little pop-up reminder. So you can fill this list in with as many events as you want. To make them public, you have to turn them, put a yes, a Y next to them, and then process the events. What will then happen then is uh, dedicated spreadsheet for that event will be created automatically. Uh, this will allow you to track bookings to the event and also um, do the joining instructions as well. Um, this was the event we put in. You see it's being grayed out and the uh, information of when it was added. Um, so if we go through to the calendar. If I Refresh the calendar. You see information for the event is there and it's pulling the map details. Um, to show you how this looks to the public, if I go in here, there's various options for embedding the calendar. And again, if I go through to December, you see it's got the information there, it's got a link to a map, uh, it's got the description and a nice big button to allow people to book. So if I refresh the events page as well, you see the, uh, the event list. So you've got numerous ways for people to um, stay up to date with events. They can subscribe via RSS or they can subscribe to your calendar. So I'm going to show you what happens when you click to register for an event. Um, what it does is it 
pulls in the event ID into the form and the user can fill in the rest of the information. You can customize this form to a degree. You might need to tweak some of the background code um, in the, um, the script. So I'm going to put an organization name. Uh, another option I've been playing around with is uh, to give delegates um, custom travel directions to the the venue so they have an option of putting uh, a postcode in for their start location they also can choose the mode of transport that they're taking so when I hit submit what happens here is uh, the admin will receive a notification of the booking um, and basically prompting them to go back into the spreadsheet and take action. So if I go in here, there's a, a sheet for all the bookings and you can see this booking has just come in with uh, to be confirmed. If I change that to a yes, and I can have multiple bookings if I want to confirm and so I can do it in batches and process the booking. Um, so it's just running in that script and it's generated uh, um, a reference number Let me know as well that an email has been sent out. So what's happened here is details of that booking have gone to the event spreadsheet. So it gives you an option to track numbers uh, and it also has a, you know, you could use this as a sign-in sheet. What's happened here as well is an email has gone to the delegate with confirmation of their booking uh, as you know, uh, the date and time, basic sort of information. Some of our um, pretty cool stuff has gone on behind the scenes. If I click on this event and look at the details, you can see it's added uh, the details of the delegate. So you can, um, it's another way of basically recording who's coming along. Uh, you could email the guests. There's also an option I'm going to show you, the joining instructions option. Another nice feature of this, we'll see if it will work. No, uh, it didn't work in that particular instance because I've registered as myself, but there's an option when you delete an event to send an email to all the delegates. Um, another cool thing that's happened is that in the contacts, Basically, the sheet, the spreadsheet, is adding contacts to your uh, your account. So you can see it's got pulling in the organisation name when they were added, uh, and the email and name. There's options if you want to delve into the the behind the screen scripting to add more information there if you want. Uh, it's one for you to play with. Uh, so the joining instructions, to send a joining instruction, you have your spreadsheet that you want to, for the event you want to send joining instructions for. Um, within the templates, there's a, there's one for joining instructions, so you can customize it a bit if you want. So I'm just going to email joining instructions. So it's send out a notification it also gives you a, a running count of how many people joining instructions have been sent to and if I go back to my inbox um, you'll see that as well as information about the event I've got some travel directions as well with a, a nice little map so there you go enjoy <laughs>